Jason Poet. They move in herds. They do move in herds. Hello and welcome, my name is Jim, AKA Dr. Cellini. I'm a board certified veterinary neurologist and on today's episode, I'm going to talk about CBD and dogs. Should you give it, should you not? What evidence do we have that it works thus far? And it's not a coincidence that I'm wearing green scrubs. Let's get started. is not intended for medical advice of any kind so please consult with your own veterinarian about what to do regarding CBD products um, in general a good thought process is that at this time the FDA has not approved CBD products for dogs and cats so veterinarians are not fully legal legally able to prescribe or recommend the dose for CBD so owners are going to have to make this decision on their own and you're going to have to make this decision based on pretty limited research and data right now. But the goal of this video is simply to inform you of where the research is at so that you can make a good decision going forward. Okay, so like I said at the top, on today's episode, we're gonna talk about CBD. And I think that a good natural starting place for CBD would be simply to answer the question, what is CBD? So CBD is, stands for cannabidiol, and it is one of the major extracts from the cannabis sativa plant or the marijuana plant, if you want to call it that. Um, but CBD represents about somewhere around 40% of the extract of the plant. And there's a lot of different subvariants of CBD, different cannabinoids and whatnot um, that come from the plant. Um, but CBD in general, uh, the cannabidiols, represent a non-psychoactive extract of the plant, whereas your psychoactive component is, you probably already know, is THC. So in dogs, we don't really use THC too much because we know it's, it can be pretty toxic to them and we, it has a very well-known sort of set of neurologic and other uh, side effects and symptoms that dogs experience when they ingest it. It's a very well-known toxicity. You go to any uh, vet practice, any emergency room especially, um, that everybody is very aware of what a pot dog looks like. So to summarize, CBD is a non-psychoactive extract from the cannabis plant. So unlike THC, it will not make you high. But nonetheless, there is a ton of interest in seeing if whether or not CBD can help treat various ailments in dogs and cats. The next question to consider with CBD is, is it safe to give to dogs and cats? And from the studies that have been done so far, looking at safety and pharmacokinetics in dogs and cats, I would say the answer is yes, and so would most people. A good study out of Colorado State looked at the pharmacokinetics of giving CBD in different formulations to dogs and found that the most consistent and reliable steady states are basically concentrations of the drug within the dog's bloodstream came with giving the CBD as an oil, a CBD infused oil rather than capsules like that would resemble like, um, like uh, fish oil capsules and much better than giving transdermal cream through their skin. Um, giving things through dog skin as patches and creams is typically unreliable just due to a combination of hair and the way dog skin is set up. Dog skin is a lot different from people. Um, they have a lot more fat, a lot more skin folds, a lot more hair, obviously. In one study, every dog got diarrhea that receive CBD oil and at first glance you would think well that's not good if every dog reacted to like that but the way that they gave the CBD is basically oil uh, a CBD infused oil dropper so if you give dogs oil of any type you're going to see a lot of diarrhea because dogs GI tracts are really sensitive to high fat substances like pure oil so it's unclear whether or not it was the oil or whether it was the actual CBD that caused the diarrhea um, but none of the dogs in that study that developed diarrhea 
had any sort of significant problems or were systemically ill in any significant way. Um, in other studies, um, both dogs and cats will frequently have elevated liver enzymes, but again, these animals did not show any outward signs of illness. They were able to, the researchers were able to document increasing liver enzymes uh, on repeated blood works after receiving CBD, but again, no permanent side effects that they could detect and no outward signs of illness. So they were what's called asymptomatic. So overall, CBD appears to be pretty safe and well tolerated in dogs. So the best way to give CBD from what we can tell seems to be as an oil. So real quick, I forgot to mention this in the initial video. I'm at work right now, as you can see. By the way, if you want me to do like a day in the life, let me know, comment below. Anyway, one of the studies that I brought up, I failed to mention that two of the dogs had to be withdrawn from the study because they developed ataxia after getting CBD, meaning they had an incoordinated gait. So some dogs do actually seem to have a little bit of some neurologic side effects from CBD. This is CBD without uh, any, uh, any large amount of THC in the compound. So that's important to note too. I forgot to mention it. Um, just wanted to throw it in here really quick. Okay, back to the video. So it's also very important to realize that these CBD containing products don't always contain what they advertise. And it's really difficult for you as the consumer to know what you're actually giving to, I mean, not only yourself, but your pet. So it's important to try to do your own research to see if the FDA has issued warnings to any companies that you may be purchasing CBD from and to make sure that the actual drug you're giving has the exact concentration and has the exact same compounds that is being advertised and is listed on the bottle. So it's important to purchase the, these sorts of products if you do decide to do that from reputable manufacturers. So the next question to ask ourselves is, does CBD work? And if it does work, what does it work on or for? And what conditions can we help dogs treat with it? Um, the answer to that question is mostly that we don't know, but there are some studies that have been done and that are ongoing in dogs uh, using CBD uh, that show maybe some promise and some rationale for giving it. So far, there have been two major groups of problems that have been looked at to see if CBD can help with these issues. The first set of problems would be arthritis. So there's been a few studies that have come out looking at whether or not CBD can help dogs with arthritis to be less painful. And results from, from these studies are, are somewhat consistent and that they do show an improvement in dogs who are receiving CBD in their pain from their arthritis. So they've looked at dogs who are basically uh, acting more mobile, more willing to walk, um, and appearing less painful on an exam, um, getting CBD uh, to help treat their arthritis uh, in addition to some pain meds. And they've also demonstrated that some dogs are able to come down and have reduced doses of traditional pain medications in place of CBD to help mitigate side effects. So overall, there seems to be an effect in helping dogs perhaps with arthritis um, and alleviating their pain by supplementing CBD into their pain regimen, maybe their physical therapy too. Now, as a neurologist, by far the most common question that I get in regards to dogs and cats with epilepsy is whether or not I should give CBD and does CBD help with their seizures? So let's look at the evidence that's been done thus far on this issue. So Colorado State performed a pilot study uh, in 2019 that looked at dogs who are epileptic and are having at least two seizures a month and they're already on multiple medications, drugs like phenobarbital, potassium bromide, Keppra, etc. And so what they did is they split this small number of dogs into two different groups. One group received CBD in addition to their medication and the other group received a placebo in addition to their medication. Now what they do with these sorts of studies is they define a response, meaning a reduction in seizures once they get a drug, whether it's placebo or a CBD, once they get the treatment, do they respond to the treatment? And they define a response or being a responder as having at least a 50% reduction in their seizures. And what they found was that both groups, CBD and placebo, both had the same number of dogs become a responder, meaning in both groups, they had a couple of dogs, I believe it was two dogs in each group, um, have a 50% or more reduction in their seizure frequency. 
So there's no difference between the placebo and the CBD in that study. However, if you look at the data more precisely and kind of deeper, what they also found was that within the CBD group, there was an overall reduction in seizures by 33%. If you tally up all the seizures that these dogs had in this group over the period of time in the study, it was 33% lower than historically. So there might be something there. You can't say for sure that yes, this works, we need to give it, it's definitely a seizure reducing medication, but there's enough to that to say, huh, maybe we need to look into this further. So what Colorado State is now doing is enrolling dogs in a more uh, larger study to see if with a larger number of dogs and over a longer period of time, if they are able to tease out a significant difference between CBD and a placebo. I'd be really interested to see with a larger number of dogs what sort of information they find uh, with that study. So in my practice, what I usually do is tell owners who ask about CBD, look, I know that CBD is super popular and it's being looked at by a number of different institutions right now, but I can't, unfortunately, I can't recommend giving it simply because the FDA hasn't approved it. I don't know what the exact dose is or if it for sure works. It seems to be safe, but I can't recommend formally that we give it simply because the FDA hasn't approved it yet. So if owners decide to do that, it's purely extra label and it's essentially their own decision making as far as a risk assessment balance to see if they think it makes sense for their pet. So I would encourage you, if you think that you'd like to give CBD to your pet, please, please, please do the research. And most importantly, understand what is actual research and not somebody's blog who's just saying stuff. That is the most important thing. I know we live in a day and age where everything is just misinformation just thrown against the wall um, to see what sticks. But please, please practice some scientific literacy to try to know what is actual research so that you can make a truly, again, the word true being the operative word there, truly good decision for you and your pet. A good way to tell the difference between research and not is if you go to a website and it looks like this, or this, or this, I don't know if that's gonna be actually good sources of information. So in conclusion, CBD is basically in its infancy. So hopefully in the next few years, we'll know more and be able to make a better decision. So I hope that video was informative. Feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know if you've given CBD to your pet. What for? Did you see a response? Never hurts to hear stories from pet owners to see if it helped. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. As always, please feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you've given CBD to your pet for, uh, let me know the condition that you gave it for. Let me know if it led to any improvement at all, if you noticed any side effects. Always like hearing anecdotes from owners um, in regards to what they've experienced. Any, pos any feedback of any kind would be appreciated. I'm looking to grow the channel and just to continue educating pet owners. Thank you very much.